So Gemini's, in the recent past, we have the Hierophant. Now, if you were asking about how your partner felt about you at that time, just know that they loved you very deeply, and it's a love that could not be broken. Uh, with the hair font, at that time, you could have been also searching for the meaning of life, and people considered you to be a great loyal friend. Now, when this type of person is called on for advice with some important personal matters, their empathy and intelligence puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So this could have been you at that time or someone that was in your life or someone that was coming towards you. And the Hierophant is paired with the Two of Pentacles. Now, if you were in a committed relationship, you and your partner may have been having troubles finding energy and possibly time for each other. You needed to make sure that the relationship remained high on your priority list. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there for you when you came back. If you were looking for love at that time, don't tell yourself that you are ready if you're truly not. Just know that you wouldn't have had to be perfect, but you do have to be willing to create the time and the space and the energy to give and to put into a romance. And that's the recent past. Now we move on to the present, we have the justice card. Now, the Justice card, um, if you're asking questions whether you and your partner are likely to stay together, the answer is that you are likely going to choose to go your separate ways. On the other hand, if you're single, this is a time when commitment may be coming your way very shortly. So stay clear about what you want most from relationships and you're likely to find it that much sooner. That's the justice card and that's what it speaks of about relationships. And it's paired with the nine of wands. Now, it's important to remember that no relationship and nothing on earth can stand up to constant nagging or picking apart, trying to give your lover some breathing space. If you're uncommitted and single and looking for a relationship, understand that the time may simply not yet be right for you. Ask yourself, are there things about you that you'd like to change? This is gonna be a good time to get yourself together emotionally so that when you are ready for a new relationship, the person that you attract into your life, they'll also be complete, together, and whole. So at this time, uh, kind of take it slow. Don't be in too much of a hurry. With these two cards paired together, the Justice card, uh, if you're asking with the Justice card, if you're going to stay together, it says no, you're going to probably choose to go your separate ways. Okay, so it's paired with a nine of wands. So if you're going your separate ways, like the Justice card says you are, um, you might want to start off by just giving some breathing space and see how that works. Because you may not have to go your separate ways. So take the advice of the nine of wands, give some breathing space. Um, okay, once you give the res some breathing space, uh, it's going to be important to remember that no relationship can stand up to constant nagging, picking apart. You're going to have to change that routine if that's what you do. Okay, but uh, number one, breathing space. And if you're picking things apart and you're just constantly finding fault, you're going to have to uh, turn that around into something positive. Because with the justice current... It's, it's stating that you're going to choose to go your separate ways. But 
like I said, with the Nine of Wands, you're gonna you're gonna attempt to make some changes first. Okay, once you make those changes, it'll probably work out for the good. And then, if it doesn't, then you have to make that decision what to do next. And that's the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a very happy indi indicator when it comes to relationships and love. If you're currently committed, this card can mean that you will move to the next level, such as living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. All these things can be indicated by this card. For a time, you're likely to have a peaceful, happy period in your love life. So make sure you enjoy it and share your, well, share your joy. Make sure your lover knows how much they mean to you. And if you're not in a relationship, this can mean that a new love could come into your life so fast that it's going to make your head spin. So be open to, be open to that. That's what the Ten of Pentacles, and it's paired with the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is a very good card in the tarot, particularly if you already know someone that you're interested in. This tells you that they see you in a positive light as someone who has all the qualities that they've been looking for. Although love has not quite developed yet, so there's going to be a need to be patient. If you're single and looking for a relationship or love, this can indicate that you are likely to meet someone through your work or through theirs. So make sure to keep your eyes open at this time. With these two cards paired together, the Ten of Pentacles, if you're in a committed relationship, it's going to move to the next level. Engagement, marriage, childbirth. It's a great card for uh, romance and love. It's a happy period for you. A happy time for you and your relationship okay and um, it's paired with uh, three of Pentacles it's another great card in the tarot so if you know someone that you're interested in uh, well since we're talking about the ten of Pentacles if you're in a relation the relationship that you're already in you're the person that you're with they see you in a very positive light and they admire you because you have all the qualities that they've been looking for. Or someone could be coming towards you that way, a new relationship. Just keep in mind with the uh, Three of Pentacles, the, it's not going to develop fast. So you're going to have to have a patience for uh, this great relationship. But just know that they see you in a very positive light. And if you're single, someone, someone could be coming towards you uh, really fast so like I said these are really two good positive cards for love and romance and that's going to be the challenge and now we move on to the outcome we have the Queen of Pentacles now the Queen of Pentacles it's a very feminine card it points to strategy particularly for those who are not currently involved with anyone the strategy is to find love. Well, the strategy to find love is going to be the stereotypical feminine one. Don't chase it. Make yourself available, but don't chase it. Don't be desperate to bring someone new into your romantic life. When the time is right, that's going to be made abundantly clear to you, and you won't have to do backflips to make something come about. So be upbeat and know that you have many things in which you are worth loving. Just know that you have many things in you which you are worth. Okay, so that is the Queen of Pentacles paired with the Hermit card. Now the Hermit card. It's possible that a ro romance from your past is going to be rekindled. Ask yourself, is that what you really want? It seems that romantic relationships are not currently a priority for you right now. If your head says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, look at your behavior. 
Does it align with that analysis? In a committed relationship, you might have been moving in different directions for a while. So make sure to make the time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. That's with the Hermit card. And with these two cards paired together, the Queen of Pentacles, it's a feminine card. It points to strategy. The strategy is a feminine one. Don't chase it, but make yourself available. And being that it's paired with the Hermit card, a uh, past person, a romance from your past will be rekindled. But like I said, it's paired with the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, the strategy for this rekindled romance is to not to chase it. When it comes towards you, don't chase it, but make yourself available. Yeah, you don't want to seem like you're not interested. So just don't chase it, and but be available and be willing to take part if he asks you out or anything like, you know, like that. If he wants to go out, just seem interested and enthused. Okay, but you just don't chase it. Let him chase you. And uh, let's see. And if your head is saying that you're, you're not interested in a relationship, uh, take a look at your behavior. Does it really align with that analysis? And um, yeah, so good for you. Someone from your past wants to rekindle something with you. Uh, hopefully the sparks will fly. And you're going to have to ask yourself, is that what you really want? And just remember, don't chase it. The strategy is to be very feminine because that's what the Queen of Pentacles does. And that's the outcome. So, Geminis, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.